Frank, you read this this morning, you know, as if it's a prophecy to us. I say that it is. Thus saith the Lord, I believe it's a prophecy this morning. Receive it if you will. I feel it this morning as I say that. The Lord is saying yea and amen. Thus saith the Lord this morning. His light is shining upon this church. Hallelujah. I feel His presence this morning. I know this is what He wants said this morning. We must believe it this morning. Hallelujah. It says arise, shine, for thy light has come. The glory of the Lord has yeah. risen upon you. Yeah. For behold, the darkness Thank shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. Yeah. But the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. Yeah. His glory will be seen yeah. upon you this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God. God has Lord. seen your travail. God wants me to tell you this morning. He's seen the many days, yes. the many months, yes. the many years. Yes. That you've travailed and that you've called on the Lord and that you've gone through seasons of depression and you felt guilty about it because you know you're supposed to have the joy of the Lord. And the mere fact that you felt you felt guilt in your heart yes. and you felt conviction yes. from God shows that you have the Holy Ghost yes. because the Holy yes. Ghost brings that conviction this yes. morning. Yes. Without His Spirit, the Bible says you're none of His. Amen. And those yes. who sit around and they don't feel the conviction, those that can go day in and day out without the conviction of the Lord, Amen. they don't have His Spirit this morning. Amen. It's a sad day. These are the people that we need to reach for God today. But folks, if you feel it, Yes. If you've been feeling, Amen. if you feel yes. the conviction yes. this morning, and you yes. feel it day after day, month after month, year after year, because yes. you know you're not where you want to be, but you're striving to get yes. there. Yes. The Lord yes. wants you to know this morning that His light has arisen yes. upon you this morning. Yes. Don't get confused yes. right. this morning about what a revival looks like. There's something in us that's longing for revival. Yes. But I'm telling you folks, revival is here. Yes. Revival is yes. here. Yes. It's just like the Lord said over in there in the Bible. You remember when he was speaking to Elijah. And great things begin to happen. Things begin to happen. The earth shook. Fire broke out. Yes. Wind came and ripped the rocks. And all of these exciting, emotional things were happening. But the Bible says that God was not in the wind. And the Bible says that God was not in the fire. But a still, small voice spoke to Elijah. And God was in it. The Bible says, do not despise the days of small beginnings. Don't look down on those things. Don't look at a church that is small and say, it can't be nothing going on there. Amen. Don't look right. at the preacher if he comes up a few Sundays and he don't seem to be shouting and running around and got all kinds of excitement in him. There's something that's brewing, folks. I'm telling you in the name of the Lord this morning. I can feel it this morning. It's underneath the surface. It's like when an earthquake happens. The scientists tell us that underneath, underneath the surface, there's tectonic plates. And these things are always pressing. And they're always shifting against one another. And there's always a commotion down there where it's pressing and the power is building. And they tell us that then, all of a sudden, hallelujah, it comes to the breaking point. And there's a great shift that takes place. And the tectonic plates begin to break apart. And all of a sudden, then... You get a manifestation. You see this thing on the surface. And the ground breaks loose. And the buildings quake. And it begins to happen. This is the way the move of God happens, folks. God can go for many years sometimes. And He can be just below the surface. And you can be struggling to pay your bills. And you can be struggling to live a Christian life. And you can be having peaks and valleys. And you say, Lord, when is it coming? We want a revival. I hear that it's going on over here. And I hear that it's going on over there. Maybe I should go over here. Maybe I should go over there. But folks, I'm telling you, if you don't stay where God puts you this morning, you will miss what God has for you. Hallelujah. It's like children in a family. So often when you're growing up, you think, I don't know. 
I don't know if I like my family as much as I like the one down the road. When I go visit Johnny over there, they eat better than we do. They have a bigger TV. They seem to have more fun. The kids have more toys. And kids can start resenting their own family. And they, do, yeah. they want to go visit all the time, and they don't want to be at home. Yeah. And they begin to look down on what they have. Yeah. But folks, when they begin to mature, when they get a little older, yeah. when they get to a place where they have an understanding, yeah. all of a sudden they look and they say, there's no place like home. Yeah. There's no family like my family. Because you weren't raised with those other siblings. You don't have what you have with your own family. And that's the way it is this morning in the church. This is your family. If it be your family. Maybe it's not with some, but it is with me. I feel it this morning. And I'm telling you, the move of God is coming. I'm telling you, the move of God is here. It's already here. We don't have to keep looking and wondering when it's going to be here. The Lord is telling us this morning, arise, shine, for your light has come. 